Quran. Saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob. Let me get the, the um, Say it to the Lord. Yeah, man, the Lord says he's not going to utterly destroy the house of Jacob, man. That, that little... That, that small little portion right here, the 144,000 prophets and the one third are going to be saved, man. Those are the ones that's going to be delivered. The rest of you, you two thirds, you're going to have to die, man. Right. Because y'all want to continue to go about America's ways of funniness, man. If America was to have a national homo day every day of the week, you Americans would cheer for it, man. If America had a National Eat Pork Day, you niggas would, man, pork would have been sold out in every supermarket, man. Go ahead. These niggas stupid. I was telling my brother earlier, yesterday they had Pirate Day at my job, man. <laughs> <laughs> we had like 50, 40, 60 year olds coming in dressing as pirates, man. Wow. Hey, they got the, uh, <laughs> I don't know if y'all heard, but they got the Doritos, the, the uh, rainbow oh, colored Doritos. Doritos. Them oh. shit, guess how much the bag costs though? A hundred dollars a bag. <laughs> What? To raise money for the LGBT or some bullshit like that. I remember when I remember when that shit had just came out. Hennessy was expensive. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hennessy was supporting that shit, man. And a regular bottle of Hennessy is like what twenty dollars. They had a little, they had a little uh, rainbow color Hennessy bottle and shit. That shit went from twenty to fifty dollars, man. That's why America, that's why you two thirds gotta go, man. Because y'all, 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 y'all love it, man. Y'all want it to keep going, man. That's why the scriptures say, though hand join in hand, the wicked shall not be on. Exactly, y'all. For lo, I will command, and I will sift the house of Israel among all nations, mm -hmm. like as corn is sifted in a seed. Yet, shall not the least grain fall upon the earth. Verse 10. That's right, the elect is not going to be harmed, man. The elect ain't going to be harmed at all. Man. Verse 10. All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword. Hey, hey, that, that's, that's your father saying this, man. That's your spiritual father saying this, man. Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. All the wicked of, of Yahweh, if you how about Shimei Al Shai's people will get put to death by the sword, man. So you if you're a so-called African American man and you committed wickedness, if you're a so-called Haitian, Jamaican, Latino, and Native American man, and you commit a wickedness, the Lord will put your ass to death, man. That's right. Thus say the Bible. That's right. Gotcha. I'm gonna say this, I, you know, speaking on the brothers that's doing this work truth and sincerity. That's not their father, they're orphans, man. They haven't been adopted back in. So since you don't want to be adopted back in, you're going to get put to death and you're going to come through the loins of the true men. That's, that's, right, that's teaching his word, man. It's Ezekiel chapter 9, verse 4. And the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the man that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. And those men are going to be signing and crying with all sincerity, man. They ain't going to be pussy uh, uh They're going to be in all sincerity, man. Every day, getting up and just wanting this place to go, man. Uh, and that, and, and to, go, to go more in it, that's not the same mark that's in um, uh, Revelation, man. The mark in Revelation is what? Uh, Kuragma, right? Which means stamp or incision, man. Right, right here, the, the walk. The walk. Which means exemption, man. So that mark, the most high is telling the, the, the angel of death to go and, 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 and exempt those men who signed that cry, man, sincerely, man, from the destruction, man. Which is going to be the elect, man. Only the elect is going to get exempted from this destruction, man. Can I say something? Uh, especially uh, the sign and crying. I mean, I was just uh, looking at a, a news article that came out, I think like a year or two ago. It was by ABC or MSNBC, you can look it up. That they found traces of pharmaceutical drugs inside the drinking water. And they, and they found um, uh, ibuprofen, um, what was another uh, pharmaceutical uh, for your, if you're a psychotic, uh, lithium. 
They also found uh, sexual overdrive like uh, Viagra in the drinking water. And you know why? It's because when this, when this, um, these fucking devils, when they clean those sewer, they, they put it through a, a system, but they can't clean the water out completely. So they, all the pharmaceutical drugs, it goes still through the, uh, through the strainer. So you have all these people drinking uh, polluted water every day, and that's why all these people are bugged out. That's why we signed crack. That shit is wicked. You can't even, you're taking a bath in pharmaceutical drugs. And that came out on the public news. But you fucking people don't watch the news. That's right. <laughs> idiots, drinking water with fluoride, man. The leading, the leading ingredient in rat poisoning, man. You basically just poisoning yourself for free, man. You can't even catch rainwater. You can't, That's you can't, can. yeah, you can't catch rainwater, man. You catch rainwater and the government finds out, they gonna come take that shit from you, man. Oh, you can't, you can't have more than seven days worth of food stored, uh, man. Uh, if you do, you are deemed a terrorist, man. Come on. Yeah, Lord. All right, you gotta look up the news for that, right? The law put something in their face to make them choose their sides. See if they gonna sign and cry. Like, fuck motherfucking Bruce Jenner. Yeah, if you man. wasn't signing crime, like, you know, like saying death to this place or this place fucking wicked when that, when all that shit um, started popping off, the law gonna put you to death, man. That's right. That, that, that's dead wrong. Everybody know that's dead wrong. Gave the fucking faggot a special, got a uh, reality TV show. If you ain't signing crime, the law gonna put you to death. You can't say, oh, I don't watch TV, I ain't see it. I know you grocery yeah, shop. I, saw that shit. I know you grocery shop. And that day, uh, and, and when that faggot came out, man, and every, and every little tabloid, man, at the grocery stands, when you had the cashier, man, that's all you seen, man. Shit. This fucking um, false image. It's supposed to be, you're supposed to be against that. You know? That's an abomination. Sign cry for all the abominations that's done in the midst thereof. That's right. They won't even, they, they ain't got no problem with that. He saw taking bread out your check. He ain't even work for you, man. Yeah. man. The longer he holds the check, the more money comes out of it, that's man. Right. That's why you people are so wicked, because even in your fucking constitution, it says no direct taxes. When you work and you get a tax for your own labor, that's a direct tax. It's like, hey, I got a job now, but guess what? I still got to give my hard earned money to the fucking people here, even though I'm busting my ass. This that fucking, shit don't make no sense. They had a fucking revolutionary war about taxes yeah. against the um, against Br the Brits, yeah. the red coats, about the um, sh um what what taxes the sugar tax and yeah. all that shit. T tax, T -tax. T -tax. T -tax. yeah. T -t -t -tax. And, and they were wicked because when they uh, the Boston Tea Party, who they dressed up as? The Native Americans, wicked ass bastards, man. Oh, we gonna dress up like Native Americans and throw tea over. <laughs> I was gonna say, man, sign that crap for the abomination they're up, man. These motherfuckers put these Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans to death, and then sit here and wanna tell you to just, just forget about the past, and you got niggas really saying, oh, you know what? Let's just shake on it, you guys. Come on, man. Yo, man, like the, the brother, uh, Yashawamba out there in Dallas, man, he, he put it perfect, man. You Negroes and Latinos, y'all just like little mouse, man, like little mice, man running around trying to get a piece of cheese and trying to avoid getting the mouse trap, man. But soon, hey, y'all ain't gonna be able to avoid this mouse trap, man. It's coming, man. That's right. <laughs> that's, that's the, that's, that's mouse glue, huh? Yeah, the glue mouse trap, glue. the glue trap. Mouse trap, trap is right the right nukes, yeah. man. Because yeah. when that mouse trap yeah. snaps, the mice don't go nowhere, man. The glue, they can fight and break out of it, man. Uh. I done had rats in my house before I seen that shit, man. They fight out that. That, they don't go nowhere, man. They scream and holler till they die, man. Y'all gonna be screaming and hollering in those fires till y'all die, man. Uh, and to the others, he said in mine hearing, go ye after him through the city and smite. Let not your eyes spare, neither have you pity. So, so, the ones that didn't get exempt, go through them. And, and give them give them a high five, man. No, he said. Give them give them give them lollipops, man. Uh huh? Uh huh? 
Nah, I'm saying that's what they want. They want that's what they that's what they think is gonna happen. You know, that's the book of Barney. That's the book of Barney. You know, nah, that's all the scriptures say, man. Give them a hug and let them know everything gonna be all right. I love you, nah. Fuck that. Read that out. What did it say? And to the others, he said in mine hearing, go you after him through the city and smite. Put him to death, man. Smite him. Kill him. What? Let not your eyes spare, not to have you pity. If it's a baby crying, and then, no, well, fuck the baby, man. If that baby don't have that exemption on him, man, yep. put him to death, man. What? Slave, utterly, old and young. Damn, he's old, man. He's feeble. He can't do shit for himself. He's not exempt. Goodbye. Both maids and little children. Damn, there's a woman and a child, man. They ain't hurt nobody. They're not exempt. Goodbye. And woman. A maid is a young woman. And then the scriptures say woman again, man. That just shows how wicked these females are, man. But come not near any man upon whom is the mark and begin at my sanctuary. Which is Israel. Which is you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. That's where it's all going to start. That's where all the death is going to start, man. You Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans that don't have that exemption, y'all going to get put to death, all right? Then they began at the ancient men which were before the house. <laughs> Khan, this is Isaiah chapter 10, verse 21. Verse 22. For though thy, thy people Israel be as the sand of the sea, yet a remnant shall return. A con the consumption <laughs> decreed shall overflow with righteousness for the Lord of for the Lord God of hosts shall make a consumption even determined in the midst of all the land so yeah man though the, though the Lord um you know multiplied Israel as the sand of the sea man though there's a lot of Israelites only a remnant shall return man and that consumption shall overflow in righteousness man which is them that nuclear destruction man which is that famine them plagues that's going to consume you two-thirds off the face of the earth man because you're not exempt from by the Heavenly Father uh, this is Jeremiah 15 and 1. Then, this is Jeremiah 15 and 1. Then said the Lord unto me, Though Moses and Samuel stood before me, yet my mind could not be toward this people. Yeah, man. Though Moses and Samuel stood before him, yet the Most High's mind can't stand you. Y'all about Shema I can't stand you, motherfuckers. Most high set up laws, y'all broke those laws. He set up prophets to, to, to push the law. Y'all killed those prophets. So now the most high like, you know, I can't stand these people, man. What? Cast them out of my sight and let them go forth. That, all right, that's why the scriptures say the most high gave them up to their filthiness, man. The most high, all right, y'all ain't wanna y'all ain't wanna follow the law, statutes, commandments. You don't wanna understand that if you if you eat pork, your body is just gonna just start. Getting diseases, man, meaning your the word disease meaning your body is not at ease, man. Your body's gonna start malfunctioning. Alright? So the Lord said, fuck it, man. Y'all can continue to be wicked. It's the most uh because Yahweh by Shimmy Alshai knows at the end of it, at the end of it all, he's gonna put y'all, he's gonna put y'all to death for being wicked, man. That's right. And it shall come to pass if they say unto thee. Whither shall we go forth? Then thou shalt say unto them, then thou shalt tell them, Thus saith the Lord, such as are for death to death. All right, thus saith the Lord, power of Israel, man. It's right. The power, the God of this Bible, man. You people are going to die, man. A horrible death. Y'all going to go from, it's going to be left and right bodies dropping people dying, all right? And such as for the sword to the sword. Such as from the sword to the sword, man, whether it be ma huh? martial law, that's okay. Whether it be martial law or just your neighbor putting your ass to death with a gun or a rock or whatever the modern day sword is. A, a sword is a, a tool of destruction, man. Whatever that dude may have, he may chop your ass up with a butter knife if he had to, man. What? And such as for the famine to the famine to the famine. You people ain't eat for for three hours, y'all feel like y'all go through a famine, man. Imagine not being able to eat for weeks, man. Y'all gonna have to go through that famine. 
Um, and such as for the captivity, to the captivity. In other words, to slavery. Then apparently they abolished slavery, which I still going through mental slavery. Now they want they gonna have them concentration camps with those um, with those what those labor camps, man. Y'all gonna go right back into slavery, man. Y'all gonna take that chip. That's gonna be a slavery in itself, man. What? And I will appoint over them for kinds, saith the Lord. <laughs> I like that, man. The Lord. <laughs> The Lord said, basically saying, since y'all don't want to follow me, y'all don't want y'all don't want me to rule over you. I'm gonna appoint four kinds of destruction over you, man. These are gonna be your new lords.